Hey, Miss Adventurers, it is Kat Kruger, a storyteller at D20 Dames, and my pronouns are she, her. Um, I am continuing my journey here, uh, doing some solo RPG, uh, journal RPGs. Um, I've been doing that since the start of the year, and uh, this is my third one. Um, this one is, I actually picked up a physical copy of it um, while I was at Big Bad Con. Uh, a few weeks ago. Um, part of the reason why I have not been streaming is I've been to a couple uh, conventions. Um, so I went to Big Bad Con and Geek Girl Con where the dames did uh, a live show. And um, back now and back streaming. Anyway, I picked this up uh, from Cage. Um, it is delivered. Um, so uh, Cage is a friend of the show and also a wonderful game designer <clears throat> and layout uh, uh, um, like a designer. So um, yeah, I've really been enjoying this uh, this game in particular because um, it's about delivering uh, packages in space. And you can, when you're doing character creation, you sort of pick. Um, what company you're working for and what kind of parcels you're delivering. And because it's space and couriers, I wanted to do a Futurama um, inspired um, delivery service. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. Uh, so I'm going to just do a little recap here. Um, unfortunately, I've got um, some issues with, uh, with my OBS program right now because I got the dames have been having some issues this weekend with Twitch, and um, it looks like uh, I've got like a little bit of uh, authentication fail here, which um, which means I don't have easy access to things like my my chat. Um, so I'm kind of gonna go back and forth here um, to look at chat. Um, all right. Um, so, but I am gonna do a recap. Um, and so, um, so I am playing Mac Guffin, pronouns are she, her, uh, she is, uh, this is her first job as a space courier. Um, she used to work for a place called just the office. Um, and she bumped into somebody from an organization called, unquestionable delivery service. Uh, she does not have very high, like if we were playing D&D, &D, you know, wisdom perception would be very low. Um, she didn't quite get that. Um, this is like an illegal uh, black market type of organization. Uh, so her first parcel, which was successfully delivered, um, was a box of droids. Um, unbeknownst to her, they were battle droids. Um, but, you know, part of the motto of the organization is no questions asked. Um, so she is happy to do that because she's trying to get away from some baggage back at home. Um, so her first parcel was delivered way, way, way in the outskirts of the galaxy and, and charted galaxy. And um, along the way, very first day, she stopped at a space truck um, uh, and met uh, an old friend of hers named Shanana, short for shenanigans. Uh, I de decided uh, Shanana was from Phalandia because I wanted this character to sort of be... Um, mischievous and fae, uh, fae or fairy-like, um, and Shanana was just hitching her way across the galaxy and hitched a ride with, um, with Mac, um, and it turns out that Shanana also had uh, a pet uh, fungi, uh, which is sort of like an animated uh, mushroom creature, and, uh, you know, playing off of the whole fairy idea um the fungi uh it, it has these powers to um to create fairy rings <laughs> so it got into the box of battle droids fairy ringed a bunch of them out uh into the world who knows where but uh um she was able to get shanana to get the the creature out of the box 
duct taped it shut, um, delivered the parcel. Um, it did sound like there were less beeps and boops in there, but no questions asked, right? Um, yeah, and along the way, she she also say, uh, rescued a, what did I call it? It was a cat person, a Qatari um, named Ma'eep, who was a captain of a fishing vessel. Um, and she only stayed for, for you know, uh, as long as we got, um, as long as it took to get to another planet. And that was like a surf-based planet where um, most of the culture was really into surfing and they were celebrating the great surf. Um, and then accidentally discovered that there was an uh, anti-surfer movement that had created a, like an anti-tidal device, um, which they escaped from um, at the last second. And they are now, so Shanana has, uh, has let Mac know that she's sort of on the run from, um, because she's got some debt um, and um, so she's just along for the ride for as long as you know Mac will have her um, and Mac is you know fine to have the company um, so they're off delivering parcel two now which is uh, a box of ship parts that are actually illegal uh, mods um, and they're delivering it to a base on the far side of the moon of an uncharted planet. Um, in the last stream, um, we we're fortunate enough to like use the gravitational pull of a, a, a nearby planet to um, hurl us forward, and we were able to gain uh, a day uh, in our delivery. However, uh, crashed into an asteroid on the way, and which changed the directory trajectory of that asteroid and also left a giant hole in the ship, um, which Mac tried to fix, couldn't, um, because there was a, an absolute fail. Uh, but ha uh, thankfully, uh, Shanana was on board and actually knew her way around ships, um, you know, maybe suspiciously um, too well. So Shanana uh, assisted in repairing the ship's hull. All right, um, so that's where we left off. Um, let's see. Uh, what else do you need to know? Uh, I will, you, you really don't need to be caught up. I've caught you up um, to, to listen to this, but, uh, or watch this, um, but you can um, do so um, on the videos on demand that we post on YouTube, YouTube after the fact. Um, this, uh, this solo RPG is, uh, it's got, uh, dice, so, uh, and a set of, uh, regular playing cards. So I have a, for, for what I've drawn here for this parcel, um, I'm just using a six-sided die because that's the, that's the timer that was assigned to this parcel. Um, so I'm on, a, on, you know, day six. Um, I currently have four out of five successes. So basically if day three, <clears throat> even if I just get one success, um, it means I've delivered the parcel. Um, everything is prompt based. So I draw from this uh, standard deck of playing cards. Um, and then um, from there, I get a prompt in the book um, to determine what it is that happens uh, on this on this day. And then I need to use um, body, wit, or social body, wit, or social stats to determine the outcome. And then I roll die based on how many, um, how many points I have uh, for those stats. And I use, a, I use a D4s for those. So for Mac, um, body, I only have one. So I would only roll one of these if I was using that. <clears throat> wit is two and social is four. So I would use two for wit or four of these for social. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is just raw today.
Okay. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is draw my next card for day three. It is the eight of hearts. <clears throat> and I'm going to switch over to my journal. I'm going to write eight of hearts here. And flip over to hearts eight. Um, okay, so this one here says that you land on a planet and the inhabitants seem to be mourning something. All right, so we're on the furthest outreaches of, of you know, the charted galaxy here. Um, heading towards an uncharted planet. Um, we just knocked an asteroid out <laughs> of its um, orbit or trajectory or whatever um, was going on there. Um, maybe the, maybe the asteroid has done something or is charted to do something like it's on a crash course for this planet's um one of this planet's moons or the planet itself and they're i think maybe they're mourning mourning that i think it would make sense if uh mac had something to do with that Um, all right, and again, unfortunately, um, because of the authentication error that happened on OBS, I'm going to be lagging in responding to chat, but if chat has any um, suggestions, please let me know. All right, um, if you haven't followed along before, basically I journal um, kind of in silence and then I'll read in Mac's voice what, uh, what, um, what she's written in her captain's log. Um, oh, also fun, um, this hat here is, um, I made this because I love this character so much. This is supposed to be the logo for Unquestionable Delivery Service. So you see it's a question mark with a red circle and a, and a line through. Um, okay. Um,
All right, so um, I've written in uh, the captain's log here. Um, After such a rough day with the near-death experience of having the ship's hull tear from scraping against an asteroid, I decided to take a break on a planet. Hopefully it's a party planet like Deuteronomy. So Deuteronomy is the uh, surf-based uh, planet that we went to um, uh, while delivering the last parcel. Um, so how this works is, you know, I put, I put out a statement on, you know, what I hope the success is going to be. Um, and, you know, they are mourning, which I haven't written yet, but um, I think... Uh, I think I'm going to use uh, social um, to sort of chat with the locals and, you know, see what's going on and you know if there's like um some sort of uh you know celebration um i guess um you know some cultures um when they mourn the loss of something um it's a very sad event and then other cultures i think you know they sort of celebrate the it, uh, the existence of the thing that they're, you know, they're, they've lost. So I think it could go, go either way here. Um, okay, so I um, am going to roll don't have three three uh four d4s uh so i just roll this <laughs> four times uh if um the success rate here is um a one is absolute fail um a two is partial fail three is um partial success and four is absolute success so here we go got a three so far three Two, two. So it is a partial success, which means you get what you want, but things get complicated. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, Mac is not going to, first of all, hello, Jane and Socialist Pie. Um, and Mac is not going to the planet solo. Uh, she's got Shanana on board with her. Um, so I think Shanana will come with. Um, I do have to note that I've got some issues with my um, my Twitch right now. So I'm kind of having to switch between OBS and the live uh, Twitch uh, chat because uh, Something happened this weekend, uh, which is why we weren't able to stream Brindlewood Bay um, and um, or, or restream the um, recording. Um, and today, uh, when I logged in, uh, authentication failed for some reason. Um, and um, and yeah, so I don't have chat um, and I wasn't able to change the name of this this stream. So, it, you know. Clearly, you were not crafting with me. Um, we're playing delivered. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know what what really happened. Uh, it's just a uh, it's just a little bit of a technical uh, glitch here. 
yeah, it's it's a little bit annoying, but you know, making do, I just have to go back and forth with the screen. So if there's a little bit of a lag, that's why. So um, just as you're coming in here, um, Mac is, uh, uh, yeah, they, you know, in the last session, they, we ended with playing Space Django with the with the sh those uh, ship parts that they're delivering, um, and um, it was after having that hull breach, um, which Shanana happened to save them from, um, and now Mac just wants to wants to you know. Uh, have a party i think is you know what what is on her mind you know because she you know she's had success on planets you know like deuteronomy was was very party based um she's hoping that you know this planet will also be that but they're actually mourning something um and you know i'm just trying to figure out what that is right now i'm thinking that it's going to be related to the to the um asteroid that they hit Yes, Benga, that's right, Space Jenga. <laughs> or spare, spare parts Jenga. Um, yeah, so uh, trying to figure out what it is that, uh, what they're actually mourning. And we've got a partial success here for, um, for social. Um, so Mac is, uh, Mac is gonna speak to somebody on this planet. Um, And the partial success means that there is a complication that happens here. So, um, yeah, just trying to think of what that could potentially be. Um, maybe. Maybe they try to commandeer her ship to stop the asteroid. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like she's she's engaged in this party, and then somebody tries to tries to take off with her with her ship um, to crash into the the asteroid and and move it off the trajectory. That's I think that's what's going to happen here. Um, all right, so. I will write that in the journal in just a moment here. My throat is kind of rough this morning. Of course, my pen's not working now. There we go.
All right, so um, Oh, Jane, I'm so sorry to hear that you're almost sick with your throat That's being so sore. Oh, you too, this was by. Oh, I hope uh, I hope that's not going to happen to me. Um, my, my kid, Grayson, has been sort of on and off sick um, in the past week, and I think it's kind of going through the house, but we haven't so far been um, hit too hard. All right. Um, so we've got social partial success, um, and this is Max Captain's log. Um, turns out everyone on the planet is in mourning. When I asked around, they told me an asteroid was on a crash cord toward a, uh, one of their moons. What a weird coincidence that they're also having problems with asteroids. Thankfully, they were holding a commemorative celebration of their moon, so I was invited to a wake of sorts. Shanana came along and we drank glitter moon tea and ate moon cakes. In the middle of the party, I got a notification from the ship's security system that someone was on board. Okay, so um, I cannot use the social, um, so I need to use something else. Um, and I think I'm going to use wit. Um, and so I've got, uh, I can roll two d4s uh, to see if I can... Um, I think I'm gonna like sneak aboard and uh, try to see if we can get this person off the ship. I got a four. Okay, uh, so I don't need to roll again. Um, use wit, and that's absolute success. I should also write in here that. Um, that I got um, the success that I need to deliver this parcel. All right, so I'm really hoping that it doesn't get me either. I'm thankfully don't, don't have um, a ton of freelance work right now, but um, I just, my partner is going, um, he has to travel for work this week and I just gonna have to take a bus and to, you know, shuttle my kid back back and forth from school and he's got lots of his activities and stuff so I really don't want to be sick well and it's also really rainy here in Seattle believe it or not you know big surprise um so it's always crummy feeling sick when it's miserable weather too okay so I'm going to write with this absolute success um I think we maybe Shanana uses like some of her Phalandia powers to get us on board and we work together and um, um, eject this would-be hero from destroying their ship.
All right. <clears throat> so I have for wit, um, absolute success. Um, With Shenanah's Fay help, we snuck back aboard the ship and saw someone charting a course using the ship's nav. I pointed to Shenanah's fungi and gestured in circles. It somehow understood and sprung into action. In the next instant, a fairy ring opened up and the trespasser was teleported away. There was glitter everywhere. As we cleaned up to get away, I noticed the ship was the ship was charted right into the asteroid's path. What was that person even thinking? All right. Um, so um, we have successfully uh, escaped this uh, this situation here, um, and I think um, Mac doesn't really get the fact that you know there is a possible way of like stopping this asteroid, uh, and that's what that person was up to. Um, but you know, also you know, the ship would be destroyed, and you know, she wouldn't have a way home, I guess. So, um, with that success, with those successes, though, um, it means that we are able to deliver the final parcel. So I think I just add to the end here that um, we head to the planet. Um, I'm just going to double check here. I suppose I could just do day, day, is it day three here, day four, I'll just put day four, day four, okay. All right, so day four, parcel delivered. We made it to the base on a nearby moon and delivered the box of ship parts. I'm going to miss playing Space Jenga, or Spenga, as we've been calling it. <laughs> Hi, Cage. <laughs> this is a pretty sweet hat. <laughs> All right, so we have um, delivered the... Um, second package, which means um, 
which means I've got another um, 1 XP. In Cage, I'm just, uh, uh, I've explained to others in chat already that um, I've got some issues with, um, yeah, we've been having issues um, with our Twitch account. And when I logged in today, uh, authentication failed, whatever that means. So I don't have chat in OBS and I wasn't able to change the name of um, the actual stream. So it says it's crafting with cat, but clearly we're playing your game. Um, so yeah, we've just successfully uh, delivered that parcel and um, gonna give myself parcel two success. Yeah, so uh, it was two-factor authentication, and then it wasn't, and I don't know, there was something something happened this weekend, and it's messed everything up. Um, hopefully, it will be resolved next time I stream. Um, uh, what am I doing here? I am trying to look at... Cage, I have you here in chat as game designer. Um, so I need to reset everything up. And um, I think I, I read that leveling up requires five successes, is that right? Or five, five XP. Okay, so I have two XP so far. Um, and I... Um, I need to get some ideas for what this next parcel is going to be, parcel three. Um, I think that this base is going to be, um, I think because, uh, you know, these are all um, sort of black market illegal things. I think what, what is going on is sort of, um, it it seems like everything's being set up for you know there's some sort of like rebel organization maybe or um upheaval that's happening happening in the galaxy um and this organization is helping to um helping with that um because the first box was battle droids, the second box was illegal ship mods. What else can we do on theme um, with that? I'm, I'm really feeling like this is a, some kind of rebel organization. Grab these cards and we I'm gonna add what my next um, my next parcel is gonna be. So I need to draw a card. Okay, so the face value of this card is um, a nine, uh, and it is a diamond. So I have nine successes required in eight days. Communication ships is a good one. Just giving, jotting down some notes for myself here. Parcel. Three um, is um, nine, nine Okay. 
All right, I'm setting up my journal here. It take me a second. Don't want to make you all dizzy by flipping through all these pages because I'm doing some cut and paste here. Okay, parcel three days remaining. Nine. Success is required, eight. Oops. Okay, um, I am looking at the time now, and I think I'm going to take a quick break because we're about at the halfway mark here, um, and come back. It looks like communication chips is probably going to be the thing that we're delivering for this next parcel. Um, this does seem like it's going to be a, a more challenging one because I don't have as many um, um, like if I if I fail I could fail pretty badly here what card did I draw for the package you know I did not draw that yet I need to do that thank you so Hold on. Do I? I do. No, I did draw. Sorry. I do uh, the nine of diamonds. Is that what you mean, Cage? Yeah, nine's nine. Oh, did I write that backwards? I put nine days, eight successes, but it's actually this is what I get for. Nine successes, eight days. Yeah, I wrote that backwards. Thank you. Okay, so um, I am going to take a uh, five-ish minute break um, and then be back to check out what's what's happening here um, with this parcel. All right, back soon.
hello again um welcome back to the second half of the stream um so where we left off is we um so mac has delivered uh successfully delivered her second package uh she's got an extra um xp um sort of behind the scenes so we've got two xp need to get to five uh in order to get up to the next level um uh, i am experiencing some uh twitch technical issues so um please bear with me um i i'm not able to see chat um in obs right now so i'm kind of switching back and forth between um screens here um so there's just going to be a slight delay um in what i what i'm able to say um yeah uh, just one second here while i get set up here for um here we go um yeah so we uh were um were on board the ship um we've successfully delivered this parcel um actually maybe i'm not going to assume that we're on board the ship um parcel has been successfully delivered to um some sort of mysterious organization that has a base on the far side of the moon of an uncharted planet. Very sketchy, but it is uh, so typical of an um, unquestionable delivery service, which is this organization that Mac works for. Um, um, so far she's uh, delivered a, a box of droids, which um, unbeknownst to her are battle droids. She's delivered um, a box of ship parts, which are actually illegal mods for ships. And now, um, as we've determined in chat, um, she's going to be uh, delivering uh, a box of communication chips. Uh, cannot wait to see what she actually does with these chips um, as they are in her care uh, on board. We've also got Shanana, her friend, who she picked up hitchhiking. Um, and they have a history of hijinks. And Shanana also has a fungi, um, which is an animated mushroom that can create fairy circles and that has definitely, definitely caused issues, but it also saved them uh, from uh, someone who was trying to take their, take the ship away uh, and crash it into an asteroid. All right, so, um, So I need to write about, um, you know, Shanana, uh, I'm sorry, Max expectations of the parcel and um, what we're, what is going to, actually, I don't think it's the expectations. It's just the setup for the parcel here. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back into my journal and um, and write about this.
All right, so Max says, uh, on the moon base, after I delivered the shift parts, I was given another parcel that looked like computer chips. Looks like we're heading closer to home with these. So uh, she's going to have to travel pretty far for this, um, I think. Um, and I think heading home is like, or close to home is a really good, um, good narrative. Um, there could be some good narrative stuff that happens here because you know she she took this job to get away from get away from all that and um, getting closer to home. Um, you know if there are some complications, uh, we can sort of explore that a little bit. Okay, I got a king of uh, clubs. Blanked on the blanked on that for a second. All right. <laughs> so we will look in here, King of Clubs. Okay. A former romantic partner or close friend of yours reaches out. If you roll a success, mark two successes on your delivery tracker. You may only do this once per event. <laughs> okay, so that makes total sense because she's she's cl closer to home now, and um, yeah, I think I'm gonna make it a romantic partner. I think this romantic partner is going to be part of the baggage. Um, um, who is this person? Like in my head, I, I have some ideas of like what Mac is running away from. Um, this could potentially be one of the things. Um, I think I need, I think I need a name. Package, <laughs> space package. That's so good, Jay. <laughs> uh, maybe someone who helped get her into the drama trouble she's trying to leave behind. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm pretty sure that that this person is is part of that. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling like this is going to be like, um, like some tech bro that her parents really wanted her to, um, um, be in a relationship with. And she kind of went along with it, but really, uh, um, when he was getting too serious, she was, she was just like not into it. And, uh, um, but it's also conflict avoidant and just sort of like, um, I don't know, maybe left. Yeah, that's Lincoln Jones. These are all great names. <laughs> Can I, I, I want to make it a, a um, I want to combine all these names together. Hamill, Lincoln Hamill, 
Stone Jones. Oh, that sounds like such a perfect, terrible name. All right. Um, all right, I'm going to write about this uh, dude. Camel Stone Jones, that's thinking. A little asterisk here because I need to I need to credit you both here. So here I have to write, <laughs> yeah, same, he's like the villain, um, a villain of this, uh, of this scenario here. <laughs> I, uh, I need to figure out what, um, what Mac wants to get out of this, um, so that when I roll, um, I can figure out what skills I need. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> um, what does she want to get out of this so that she, if, if she succeeds, she gets more time and um, oh, maybe she's going to use the communications chip to do something. She is going to use the communications chip to, um, or attempt to use the communications chip to, um, 
um, kind of AI respond to um, to Lincoln Hamilton Jones. Um, so that is probably going to take wit. Um, she only has two points there. Uh, if that fails, um, she's going to have to actually rely on her on her true like social skills. So we'll see. Um, so gonna roll this once. That's a two, so that's a partial failure. And there's a four, so absolute success. Okay, so, whew. Oh, I need to actually write down what she wants to do. So I'll move this down here um, and write um, Okay, so day one, King of Clubs, um, uh, she writes, As soon as we left Ypsilon Quadrant, I got a message I was honestly dreading. It was from Lincoln Hamill Stone Jones, the tech bro my dad set me up with, and who I may be space ghosted. I wonder if one of these chips in the parcel could be rigged up to communicate with him so I don't have to. Um, so she got an absolute success here, which means... Um, I think she's got like some sort of AI that is responding to him. Um, Okay, so, um, yeah, with the absolute success, I'm writing in the captain's log, these are actually AI-powered comm chips, and once I hooked it up to my device, it did a really decent job of sounding like me. Um, so I get to add um, two to my, um, to my days that I need to, that I have to deliver the, the 
parcel. Let me just double check that. Oh no, I, I, I mark two successes on my delivery tracker. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and add two here. One, two, okay. So I've got two out of eight. Oops, two out of nine. Keep doing that. I have eight days, but nine successes required. Okay. <clears throat> um, I don't know if there's really anything else that um, that I can do to sort of push my luck here because I've got body and I've got social left. Um, <clears throat> And I feel like, you know, body isn't going to help here and social, you know, the, the AI is already sort of communicating here. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, I think we move on to the next day. Um, let's see how I set this up again. Day two. Oops. Day two, and I have this out of nine. I've got one, two successes here, and then I will draw my card. So, transition to the main camera for a moment. Okay, oh, uh, Queen of Clubs this time. That part of the deck did not seem shuffled very well. Okay, so we've got Queen of Clubs. Um, we'll see what that um, that says in the journal in the um, book here as the prompt. Queen of Clubs. You remember a family member talking about this route and faintly recall them mentioning a shortcut. If you roll a success, increase a timer by one. You may gain this increase once per event. Okay. Mm. All right. Which family member of Max? <laughs> Yeah, um, so far we, we've been really uh, lucky with the successes, um, but as you know in chat, I, I often like the, the failures or partial failures because um, it really adds to Max, um, Max story here um, as a chaos courier. Um, so what family member has talked has talked about this route. Um, maybe, um, maybe she has an aunt who is like a shipping mogul or something and, um, And it's mentioned shaving off um, time on this route here. I need a name for this auntie. Oh, I also have to update my um, 
NPC list because we now have Lincoln Hamill Stone Jones. I feel like at some point we're going to have to name the AI that's talking to, to this guy. might just go into one of those fancy name generators or look around here. Quality and scripts. <laughs> Weird last name. Yeah. Um, I think Parsec. Oh, that's a good one, too. I think I'm gonna go with Parsec just because, um, and it's just gonna be a nickname. Um, yeah, all right.
Okay, so she writes, um, as we headed closer to home, I remembered Auntie Parsec talking about a shortcut around here. I wonder how she'd feel about me working for a competitor now. Um, hmm, maybe a shortcut will help me deliver this faster so I can get away from home instead of closer to it. So I think in this case, she also needs to use wit uh, to sort of like recall um, um, some of the some of the conversations she had with her with her aunt. Just gonna double check uh, how wit is listed versus um, versus social. So wit it says here um, when an action requires mental aptitude such as creativity, intellect, or investigation, where social is more interpersonal. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna be wit, which is uh, I've got two. Uh, for that stat. Um, all right, so we've got a three, which is a partial success, and a one, which is an absolute failure. All right, so and again, a partial success is uh, you succeed, but there's complications, which I love for Mac. <laughs> All right, we've got wit, partial success. Oh gosh. Um, And I just realized that I did not uh, transition my camera. Okay, so we're back in the journal um, and so Mac remembers this shortcut and then I think Something, something needs to happen to complicate this shortcut. Uh, maybe it is actually seeing um, one of her aunties um, uh, shipping vessels and um, the captain of the vessel um, maybe recognizes Mac. Um,
Okay. Spacing would work. That would be good. All right. Uh, we've got here uh, wit partial success. Um, the route shaved off an entire day of travel, which is really awesome. It's a boring shortcut, though, with mostly star cows roaming around. Unfortunately, with so little around us, I wasn't able to hide from a huge container ship from Parsex Parcels and more. Even more unfortunate, the ship's captain recognized me as Auntie Parsex's niece. Okay, so um, I think in this case, we're going to, we are going to attempt to um, uh, use social to either convince this captain that, um, you know, they don't need to tell Auntie Parsec or pretend to be uh, just somebody who looks like Mac. Um, <laughs> I also need to add, um, because that first one was a success, I get to add plus one day. I have eight. I have. I now have nine days to to do this, and and I'm going to add another success here. Day two. Okay. Um. So I'm going to attempt social. It is a higher score for um, for Mac. She's got let's see, it's her highest stat. Um, so she's got four here. First one is absolute fail. Second is partial success with a three. Got a two, which is a partial fail one which is an absolute fail so the best i the best i rolled there out of the four is a partial success which again is a success uh you get what you want but things get complicated um all right let's go back to the journal partial success all right um What happens, do we think? Hey, Gage. So, um, we got a couple of interesting cards. Got a King of Clubs and a Queen of Cards. Uh, clearly, even though this deck has been shuffled many times, uh, I don't know how that happened. But um, So, the King of Clubs, uh, there was a uh, former romantic interest who... Um, uh, He's a tech bro that um, Mac's uh, dad tried to set up um, um, romantically. And his name is Lincoln Hamilstone Jones, uh, thanks to chat. <laughs> um, and so he, uh, he, messaged, uh, he messaged Mac as soon as she got into, back into the quadrant um, outside of Ypsilon Quadrant. Um, because she's heading closer to home to deliver this parcel three. Um, and um, Mac did not want to have to deal with it. She's delivering communication chips. And she decided she's going to hook up one of these chips to her device. Um, and it turns out that the, they're um, AI powered. So now he's speaking to her AI powered device that is doing a reasonable job of um, emulating Mac. Um, and then she also remembered that, um, her aunt who owns a shipping, uh, conglomerate, um, had talked about uh, a shortcut through the sector, which she's taken, 
but there wasn't much going on around her. Um, and um, one of her aunt Parsec's ships, um, um, a, con a container ship, um, was passing through as well. And the ship's captain has recognized her. And what I'm trying to do right now with a, a social role, um, which was a partial success, is, uh, is either like convince the captain that um, I'm not actually Mac or uh, to not talk about this to Auntie. Um, actually, I just got an idea while I was talking about this. Is it possible for um, for me to pick up another package as part of this or do packages come from prompts? Packages come from prompts, right? Okay, eighth card events. All right, so that I won't do that. Um, what is the complication? Okay, I think what's going to happen here is Mac does such a good job of convincing this captain that she's not actually um, Mac, um, and so the captain um, the captain tells her that she is uh, trespassing on a route, um, and she gets kind of run out. Maybe this uh, shipping container actually has uh, has weapons on board. And I just make an edit here to say that Captain thought thought he recognized me.
All right. So um, the social partial success. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get off my space lawn. Um, pulling my hat down and lowering my voice, I told the captain he was mistaken. And I guess I did a convincing job because he told me I was trespassing on a Parsac route and opened fire. We sped out of there, taking a bit of damage, but not enough to slow us down. All right. So uh, with that, um, that is another uh, uh, success there, uh, thankfully. Um, so that is, um, that's one, two, three, that's four, four out of nine uh, successes. Um, I've also been able to add, uh, because I drew the queen of clubs and got a success on that, um, I've also been able to add another day. So it looks, you know, right now Mac is in pretty good uh, shape, even, <laughs> even with all the disaster stuff going on here. Um, yeah, um, and uh, I guess that's that's um, basically the uh, the end of today's stream. Uh, a lot happened again, uh, again, and my goodness, I'm just really enjoying this game so much. Um, it is, uh, like I said, delivered um, by friend of the show, uh, Cage. Um, I'm really glad I was able to pick up a physical copy. Um, very handy. Um, yeah, uh, I guess uh, some uh, announcements here. Um, uh, I really appreciate everyone who's been um, uh, joining uh, in the stream here. Uh, I do want to note that there's going to be a, uh, a little bit of a content shift uh, on D20 Dames. Um, so if you are interested in continuing along with uh, my solo RPGs and occasional craft streams, I'm actually going to be doing that uh, on my own channel. Um, so if you want to follow along, uh, you can do so at um, Steampunk Unicorn Studio. I will put that in chat. Yeah, we're just uh, we're just making some changes here um, in our content uh, delivery. Um, so yeah, I'm going to add all of the uh, videos uh, um, from YouTube onto that channel as well. You'll still be able to get it on Dame's channel as well, um, and uh, as well as the um, uh, what do you call it, the journal entries. Um, so. Um, with that, um, I really appreciate everyone who has, <laughs> thanks for following everyone. Uh, I do appreciate you all, uh, for being in chat and having so many fun ideas. I think it would be, uh, you know, like I, I've enjoyed it, uh, as a solo RPG, but it's always nice to just sort of have that extra input to, um, you know, generate, generate more ideas. Um, and I don't think this, uh, I would have come up with some of these things on my own, especially like the the surf based um, community and things like that. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, if you want to continue uh, following with uh, with with this, it'll be at uh, twitch.tv slash steampunk unicorn studio, um, and all the other um, delivered content will will be there as well if you need to go back. Um, yeah, uh, so I guess until next time, I will be streaming next week. Uh, no crafting at the end of this week, uh, simply because um, my partner's out of town and I only have childcare um, at that time. But I will stream on Mondays and occasionally I will do my crafting stream on uh, Fridays. Uh, thank you, Jane. I, I, I love I love it. Uh, Cage, I know you aren't going to see it's uh, it, it's not going to, he's not going to, it's game hole con that you're going to, right? He's not going to that one. He's going to a library association one. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I guess until next time, misadventure awaits.